Hi folks, I'm JD Pyatt with Icotech Game Calls. Welcome to the online tutorial video for downloading and programming your Icotech Outlaw or Icotech Night Stalker. This tutorial video we will be using Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to create a new folder on the desktop to store the sound that we download from the Icotech website into. So name it Ico Sounds for now. A uh, little tip I'd like to give you, when you get your new Outlaw or Night Stalker, I'd suggest taking, connecting it to the computer and making a copy and a backup of all 240 sounds that come on the caller. That way if anything ever happens, you have those sounds available on your computer. So, good little tip. Alright, so we've got our folder created. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the Icotech website. You'll see in the information bar up top, the sound library to the left. I'm going to be working with the Night Stalker today, so I want to go to the sound previews and downloads for the Outlaw and the Night Stalker and click on that link. That's going to direct me to the page that the sounds available are located. On the Icotech website. As you see, there's several on here. And beside each sound file available, you'll see a preview link and a download link. So, previews are short sound samples that you can listen to and decide whether or not that's a sound that you want to download. So, I'll click on the follow invite, it'll open up the page with a player and play it. This is a sound sample of. Ico Apollo Invite. This is a sound sample of Ico Apollo Invite. Alright, so we've previewed Apollo Invite. It's a sound we want to download. So the next thing I'll do is I'll click the download key. It's going to open up to the Dropbox site where the sound file is located. You'll see here that it's got the name of the sound file and the size of the sound file. And then the blue download button, we'll go ahead and click it. It's going to ask if we want to do a direct download or save to my Dropbox. I'm going to do a direct download. Now my computer will pop up this bar at the bottom. Everybody's may be different. This is the way mine is set up. But if you have this option to save as, Go ahead and save as. That way you can direct it where you want it going. So I know my folder I created, I could sounds, is on my desktop. I choose my desktop. I'm going to choose that folder and open it. Shows it empty. The file name that we're storing in that folder will be right here. And then we'll click save. And it's going to let me know that that GCX file has been downloaded. Close that out, minimize that, and we'll open it up in our folder, and there it is. So I know with my Night Stalker it comes with 240 sounds. I'm going to add this sound to the end of my list, so I'm going to rename it to 241. All right, so we've got the file selected, downloaded, stored in our folder, renamed. It's ready to be added to my game call. Okay, here's my drive. Now with the Outlaw and the Night Stalker, whenever you make any changes to your list, you have to do Drive 1 and Drive 2 identically. They have to be identical in order for the two sounds operation to work properly. So anything you do to drive one, do the exact same to drive two. So I'm going to go ahead, minimize this page, open up my sounds page, and I'm going to copy this invite. Okay, I have it copied. Now I'm going to go back and open up 
drive one of my collar, right click, I want to paste it to it. And there it is. So now I've downloaded that sound. Now it's on my Night Stalker. On drive one, I'll have to unplug, plug into drive two, do the same thing, and then we'll be ready to update our remote control. Okay, now that we have successfully added a couple sounds to our caller, this, for example, is my Night Stalker. Works the exact same for the Outlaw as stated. We're going to update our remote now, transfer that information from the caller to the remote. Using the supplied cables that come with the caller, which is a standard auxiliary cable, stereo mode, um, 3.5 millimeter double end male jacks. So, first thing we're going to do is plug into the sink port on the collar and turn the collar on. Then we will plug into the side of the remote and turn the remote control on. The remote and the collar will start communicating. You see it says updating and it's transferring those sounds from the collar to your remote control. And this will take a couple seconds. Then your remote will read data saving. Then it'll say send OK and flash. And then it'll show you your call list. At this point, shut them both back off, unplug, <clears throat> and let's test our sounds that we loaded. Apollo Invite. Oh, there we go. We have successfully loaded a couple sounds to our game caller. Updated our remote. Now it's time to go hunting. So, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helps everybody become successful with their first try. And we're spending more time in the field hunting. Uh, need any further information? Send us an email service at icotech.com we'll be glad to help you out y'all have a great day icotech dead serious game calls and decoys